Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I saw this recipe on Pinterest and I was very interested in trying it out. I've never made anything like this. Um, it's called White Chocolate Christmas Crunch. Some other people refer to it as White Chocolate Christmas Trash, which is hilarious, or White Chocolate Trail Mix. Either way, um, I wanted to try it out. So you'll need some pretzels, some corn checks, some rice checks, some Cheerios and some M&Ms and some white chocolate almond bark for melting. Um, you can use whatever quantities you want. I really like uh, white chocolate pretzels. So I made it pretzel heavy. I added three cups of pretzels, two cups of Cheerios, two cups of rice checks, two cups of corn checks, and then one cup of M&Ms. Um, the almond bark, we'll put it in the microwave at 15 second intervals and stir until it's completely melted. So you'll also need a cookie sheet with a par parchment paper to lie it flat and allow it to dry. So let's go ahead and mix this up. I thought the name was really funny. But you can add whatever you want. You can even add peanuts, honestly anything. So that's pretty mixed up. Now we're gonna take our white chocolate almond bark um, and we're gonna heat it up at 30 second intervals and stirring until it's melted. All right, so here's our chocolate. I just heated it up at 30 second intervals, just making sure that you stir it continuously so that it doesn't burn. And here is our chocolate. You may need to adjust the amount of almond bark that you use just to make sure that everything is coated once you add it to the mix. So let's go ahead and add that. So we want to make sure that we add it all. And then let's mix it. Just make sure that you coat it evenly with the white chocolate. This may take a while, so let's go ahead and just mix that up. Just make sure that the white chocolate has coated the entire mix. Okay, we wanna make sure that we get all that white chocolate out. Okay, just continue mixing. Okay, now once you've completely coated your mix with your white chocolate, you wanna take your parchment paper. That's, you've lined your cookie sheet with. And we're just gonna pour it on top so it could dry. You wanna create a single layer so that it could dry. We're gonna go ahead and allow this to dry. Um, it should take about an hour or two, maybe even less. If you put it in the fridge, it'll be quicker. Once we're done doing that, I'll go ahead and show you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, so it's been about an hour and it's completely dry. Pretty much all you have to do is break it up. Um, and this is a very inexpensive gift. If you wanna give somebody this, this would be a good idea. I just tried it and it's so delicious. I'm definitely gonna make this for my family for Christmas. I just saw it all over Pinterest and I was like, let's go ahead and try it, so. I'll probably make a bigger batch just because I have a lot of people coming over. Um, but if you wanted to make this and give it out like in little goodie bags with your Christmas card, that would be a good idea to do too. And you can pretty much add anything you want to it, honestly. I've seen some people add peanuts and just break it up.
Now, once it's all broken up, you wanna just add it to whatever bowl you're using. I have this Christmas bowl that I got at the store, so I'm just gonna add it to that. And break it up a little bit more as I add it. This stuff is so delicious. I highly recommend you guys giving it a try. Okay guys, and there you have it, the white chocolate Christmas crunch. It's definitely super delicious and a very inexpensive way to make a Christmas treat for your family. I highly recommend that you guys give this recipe a try. It's super delicious. Thank you so much for watching. You all have a very blessed day.